It seems like the motto for every update or operation that Treyarch pushes out is, hey, we're going to take one step ahead, but then they end up taking two steps back. Literally, this was exactly what happened today with the new 1.17 update, because in the black market, two of the new customization items added were death effects, which add a silly, fun animation when you die in-game, and then weapon charms, which we all know from previous COD games, they go on the side of your gun. They just add more personalization to, to the gun in, in a way. And, and to be honest, I was actually very happy because personally, I'd rather have these items in the game rather than a spray or an emblem. But that's just me, though. Um, but what Treyarch failed to mention was that every single weapon in the game is going to have the same exact death effect or the same exact weapon charm, which are unlockable through the black market. So you can unlock the same exact weapon charm or the same death effect 30 plus times, which is the number of weapons in Black Ops 4 currently. This new system absolutely just fucks over the black market in the game. The loot pool has been even more diluted because, like I said, you have to unlock one of these weapon charms or death effects for every single gun in the game. It's honestly super, super pathetic. I've seen people who have saved up hundreds of supply drops, literally spent days of in-game time to grind for this operation to unlock a good majority of the items. You know, maybe not everything for sure, but definitely if you have over 400 or 500 reserve crates saved up, you should at least unlock a, a decent part of of the new items in the new operation but nope nobody knew that weapon charms and death effects are going to repeat themselves in reserve crates until you find it for every single weapon in the game the afterlife reactive camo as well is another example now now sure all of these items are cosmetic and of course they don't change up anything they don't make you play better or whatever but you also got to remember that if you were not able to unlock the SWAT, the Daemon, the Switchblade, the Rampage Shotgun, or any of the new weapons because you, you bought the game late or just couldn't complete tiers, well, sadly, the only way to unlock these weapons are by opening them up in reserve drops. Go ahead, spend your hours, probably even days of in-game time to try and get these weapons or just drop money on COD points. There's almost, if not a 0% chance for a player like me, who unfortunately is not able to play and grind the game for 12 plus hours a day to unlock everything in reserve crates. It's it's just not happening. School and work take precedence over gaming in my life now. That's that's just what it's, what it's come to. But still, I'd like to be able to participate with my friends and have some of the cool emotes or character skins for Blackout. It sucks for us players who work a job, have a family, go to school. It's almost impossible for us to get everything in reserves. And if I'm going to be honest, Treyarch, this is a very, very unfair model you have. I guess that's also why they call the Blackout map Wetworks, because the black market is getting flooded with the same weapon charm, camo, and death effect for all the guns. I feel that all of these items should not have to be applied to all the weapons. Definitely, they should apply to the entire class of weapons, like SMG. G's, ARs, snipers, etc. Also, you get one item in reserves. I'd understand it if it were four or even three, but there's only one, and you have to wait two more times to get a non duplicate item. It frustrates me to hell knowing that no matter how hard I try and make ends meet, which, which are basically balancing my time in game with other personal life stuff that I'll never be able to get everything. I already stay up until 1 and 2 a.m. in the morning playing your game, trying to get everything. It's it just super, super frustrating. I feel even worse for the Zombies players because they still, to this day, cannot unlock tiers by playing Zombies. They have to go on regular multiplayer or Blackout for that. It sucks too because I really do like some of the new updates to Blackout, like the little things such as gesturing in the pregame lobby, the Blackout storyline or lore, Spectre is also pretty damn fun. Even for, like I said, the weapon charms and death effects, I was very excited for those to come in reserves. Again, there's there's just a lot to be excited for with this update, but in, instead of continuing pushing forward, the game has taken yet another step back. And Treyarch, you have to pay attention to little things like this as well with your game because 
it's just not fair and it makes more people upset if anything than excited for your new update as a whole because this just put a sour taste in my mouth to be honest and you guys know how I feel how I feel with Black Ops 4 I've made countless videos on some of the shady stuff that's been done over at Treyarch with the black market and and other stuff um it just sucks because after all the complaints the community has given the developers and Activision they they still find new ways to fuck the players over um so that that's that's what's frustrating me the most right now again i was super excited for this update to get on and play but now i just don't feel hyped at all to to play that much anymore i don't know um please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys i really do hope that treyarch changes the way the model is for charms and death effects um but something tells me deep down they're gonna add something even maybe even more weapon charms and death effects later on in the game to e dilute the black market reserve crates even further um but again please tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments guys thank you so much for watching i love y'all so much till next time i'll see you later